People who live in limited means, as in on pensions and all that sort of thing, may not have the ability to feed themselves properly. It's a meeting place. It provides a place for people to, to come and meet and um, enjoy company and companionship, I think, is a, is a huge issue. Having somewhere you can come and have a decent meal is a great thing um, and again it encourages uh, communication between people who may not necessarily communicate with each other. There's always someone to talk to. Our social accountability program is really, we decided some years ago that we would pick local initiatives that were doing good work that with our help could do more. And most of the organisations that are doing really good work have little budgets, they've got no publicity, um, but if you look for them, you find them. The Wellington was one of those places that's local, it's in Collingwood. They do fantastic work with the residents of the high rises in Collingwood. We liked what they, they did. They came to us and said, we think if we put on a meal once a fortnight, that that would be a good thing to do for the residents. We thought, food, we do food, we can help you with the food. So that's how the relationship started and uh, we've been delighted with uh, the outcome of it. We're a very small little organisation. Um, we've got a very tight budget. I'm the only paid employee here. Um, I've got over 20 volunteers. Couldn't do it without volunteers. And the, the funding and the other organisations that get involved are, are vital. We just wouldn't manage without them. Um, we don't get any government money at all. It's all um, philanthropic money. It's, it's a place of diverse cultures, activities, but it's a, a really, really friendly place. You know if you come here, you're welcome. You can have a feed. Well, it's taken a, a, quite a few years for it to actually get established. But once they got it going, the different people from different areas are coming in and you get to know a hell of a lot more people than you originally did. The people coming here now, uh, we know that they, they, by them coming here, they can have a, a meal, enjoy the company, and also with the chiropractic service they've got here, and a few other little items that uh, Bobby has going. Uh, without this, I think the, a lot of the area would fall apart. Because they may not have had any contact with anybody, and just a hug can make you warm and fuzzy all over. Hey, she cares about me, she, she does. And I say, isn't it great? You made me feel good too, because I need a hug. And this has been me for 10 years. They've brought out the best in me. That's why it's good to come to these places, because you know, they are friendly, you know. The people who, who actually suffer from a lot of problems and that, you know, you know, they have problems in their own homes and things, so they, you know, so, you know, so it's, it's like you say, you know, so they can come here and it's a good atmosphere, you know, they can relax better, you know, like me. Since I've been here, I've expanded the volunteer group with quite a few people who started as clients, like Elizabeth, you met today. Elizabeth's a client, um, came here originally um, as someone looking for companionship and a little bit of support and she's, she's had her demons um, she's been a patient at St Vincent's Hospital um, and now has openly accepted that responsibility of she runs a clinic for me on a Thursday. I don't do anything there anymore, she comes in and organises the whole thing. The volunteers are fantastic. They are fantastic people. We saw the conditions that, the, that they were working out of, the volunteers in the kitchen, and um, uh, I think on the day that we came down, they were actually serving the food on the, on the outside of the building in the courtyard. And uh, then the volunteers would walk the food back into the uh, clients and feed them. And um, 
we thought that there was something that we could do and, and took it back to the service of the poor committee and which then went to Martin and Gerard and Martin decided to support it. Well, we had been doing, we, we'd uh, previously been giving the doctors a gift of wine at Christmas. We realised that uh, that was a good thing to do, but we could do better with that uh, money. And so we put it to the doctors, would you be happy if we took that money and did some good with it? And the response was overwhelmingly yes. And uh, so we thought, we looked at the Wellington, we looked at what we're doing there with the food, their kitchen really needed a bit of work. And uh, so we thought, well, let's renovate the kitchen. The, the response from the doctors has been fantastic, that, that uh, they were really happy to see that uh, what we were doing with that money was, was generating uh, some good social accountability. There are, there are probably many terrific facilities of hard-working people which are underappreciated. The first I heard about it was when I received a letter from Martin uh, the CEO suggesting that rather than providing us with bottles of wine that money was put to, as he put it better and I agree, better use and so the money could go to, to the Wellington. I thought that was an excellent idea. Christmas is we all receive a lot of things and there are some people who, who don't and anything that can go to them. I, was, I, I thought it was a very good idea and uh, in return I asked our girls if we could provide a little something and I think they did. I believe they do very good work and they help people and they might be only small things at the time, cups of tea being there, but providing a cup of tea and being there can, can be pretty important if it's at the right time. Someone like St Vinny's coming along and doing that kitchen for us, it, it made a huge difference to the, the whole community that uses this building as well, not just the Wellington. Um, the church community, the God Squad, um, and all the other organisations that use the building. I mean, Narcotics Anonymous used the building, Salvation Army used the building. It's just made a huge difference to, I think also in their pride of the place, they actually keep it clean. <laughs> we never had cleanliness in the old kitchen. A lot of people used it, but they were not overly proud of it. Now they are. It's made a big difference.